okay guys welcome back to my channel and we're working on line out for today so the pen i choose here was a regular um ballpoint pen reducing to a size of about um you know 15 there about to work with that's my most recommended um size you now working with portrait so as you can see here i'm working i'm trying to like draw his most out the most utmost and um, part of his face which is his cheeks here kind of like the edges and you want to know as you're using your ballpoint pen with your regular pencil you want to keep the lines of your dots a bit distant except for parts where they are kind of like really really joined together as you can see i'm kind of like giving them good space just to keep that you know smartness on sharp aspect because true there is vector artism is a smart app is a vector art is a smart art smart art and you know vector art is known for being sharp and so on. so same thing applies for what i'm going to, about to do now for um, his ears here i'm going to use tapered pen tapered ink which is in the size of yeah, about zero point something there you know just using it to get the curves of his ears now don't be shocked if you are not really um used to all this part like you are just got his ears this fast these are things you get from research although you see it here too but sometimes you really don't see it that much and now i'm designing his eyes and nose and that just is i'm just trying to get all these sharp edges all the parts that are kind of like require sharp edges and then for this part i tried i flipped the canvas because of the fact that you know i'm right i'm right handed and that aspect which i was drawing it I just felt like I wouldn't get the flow there on his nose. I had to flip it. Same thing with the eyes too. Yeah, and I'm doing this eye here. I kind of like decided to use the paint tool because the truth there is using the lazy tool there with the tapered ink was kind of messy, making the eye look messy and kind of. So I had to use the pencil just to make it sharp and smart and the truth there is you don't want to mess up with um the character's eye because when things like you know you mess up with things like his eyes his nose you know just the main facial features trust me you're out of the line you are seriously out of the line and that is what i was just trying to watch out for here So, yeah, okay. So, let's go to his lips. Now, if you notice there, I keep trying to like make this um, sharp stuff there down at his lip there and the upper part. Because the lip isn't really that, it's not meant to be that smooth per se. Like the down part, it's meant to bend inwards a bit. And you know, but for his um, mouth here, I make sure I follow the line and even design misbehaved and you know, I take it from another angle. Don't be discouraged when you're drawing from infant design, it can mess up a, a lot. But trust me, when the money starts rolling in, you won't even consider all those facts. Not that they're not necessary or they're not important, but trust me. So, two days that, you know, I increased the speed of this video to, um, times, I think I did it 1.5 or 2 or thereabout. You know, just to make it easier for me to be fast on this video. And the video is kind of long, not because of the line art, but because of um, the beard I was trying to draw earlier on, later on in the video, sorry. 
so that's what actually took a whole lot of time here on this drawing and i'm just adjusting some things here and now this is a uh, this is something that many people don't know about but you know as my viewers you get to know about it i use the gradient tool here for his lip to make it look more i don't know just more attractive let me okay let me adjust something here now okay let me show what i mean ouch i think i did that on the wrong layer ouch ouch wait 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 ouch come on okay okay i've seen it aha so if you notice i try to like make the edges uh reduce the opacity of the edges and you know keep full opacity of the main lines and you guys can see it here it's looking a bit more attractive than you know your regular just making the line out there without this opacity we have to know something though whenever you do this your your shading are going to be on that they're going to like scatter i'm going to show it later on my shading practice but for now let's just continue what we have here okay i'm trying to like draft out his hair just make it simple for now so that i'm ready to really put in the whole stuff okay let's redo that again it wasn't looking as sharp as i wanted so i had to Okay, so let's touch his hair. Okay, I decided to just put on his the base eye, the base stuff for his eyes. Yeah, it's just making it black entirely, without you know really detailing the eye. I'm going to release a video on different types of eyes. You know, different ways you can draw the eyes later on. So watch out for that. But for now, I just want to like keep it basic. And I usually draw my eyes on a different background just so I can manipulate it. On different layer, sorry. Just so I can easily manipulate it. Yeah, this is my eraser. Using the eraser with joint with lasso. Kind of like lasso eraser, whatever. Like I told you guys, eraser work with all the um, inks. So whatever ink you use, you can use that ink to erase. If you are choosing um tapered ink, you would have used tapered to erase. So same thing. Okay. Um. Okay, just working on you know this squeeze on his eyes here. These stuffs here are very important. You guys, you don't want to leave that out. Trust me. Although you can leave it out, in particular for some projects, because it's going to make the person look really old, and maybe just somehow going to look person look somehow. But the truth is, it is in photo, and the thing about photo, um portrait artist that you want to really keep whatever you see on the photo except the um artist or sorry except um, the client tells you otherwise so if the client does not tell you otherwise that he wants to look young or whatever you always want to keep his features with him and now i'm drawing the teeth you know just like that i'm just trying to follow the lines here you're not going to really see everything as you really want them to but just try your best to open your eyes and you know with a lot of practice and everything it will be easier for you to see things notice though i did not change the size of um, the pen for whatever i'm doing inside here so as in like inside for state and other features in the face because I want to keep that uniform, you know, uniform size. That's something you want to watch out for. And this is me using the lasso pen. Lasso ink, sorry. I don't know why I always mess up with that. Lasso ink to draw this and that part of his mouth. That's something that's also important.
Okay, let's get to his eyebrows. For his eyebrows, I usually use um tapered ink, you know, to make it more realistic. And most times, I still reduce the opacity. Because the truth is, not all your eyebrows are kind of like that. How do I put it? That visible. Some of them are kind of a little bit. Um, they're not really that. Ouch. How am I going to put it now? Okay. They're not really that um, visible to others. So they're just kind of like sinking with the color of your skin or something. So I have to reduce the opacity. But just watch carefully with the way I flow with his eyebrows from the reference picture and everything. Just make sure I make it more realistic and everything. And you know, just some um, small, small tweaks I'm drawing by the sides. Okay, I think I'm gonna flip the canvas. I need to flip the canvas, yeah. Don't be afraid to flip the canvas, it's going to help you a lot, trust me, it's going to help you a whole lot. Unlike you guys, my tablet I use here is an Android, Samsung Android tablet, A10. So it's kind of hard for me to get my hands to everywhere on the screen, because it's 10 inch screen. So it's kind of hard for me to get my hands everywhere. So flipping also helps me a lot to, you know, get the best out. And also, you know, reducing the um, size of the picture and coming out and going in. These are things that are going to help you fast. Going to help you be fast. Trust me. I want to work on this. Okay. I guess that should be it for now. Let's see. Okay. I'm trying to just go in and fill in some parts. You don't want it to be too light. Some other parts. Also, you should know that you can um, reduce the opacity and draw the eyebrows just the same way I did it here. But it depends on you, it depends on the way you see the picture, the way you perceive how the picture should be drawn. I could actually draw this same picture and do it on another way. So. Like I always tell my students or tell everyone around me, it depends on the artist, it really depends. So right now, um, let's start on the hair, I'll start on the hair. And you know, for this um, side part of his hair, it isn't really that um, full or blown like the other parts of his hair. So I just try to, try to draw them strand by strand. And guys, there's something I want to tell you guys. You're going to be, you're going to be a bit frustrated with me when it comes to um, hair because the truth is, I try to take my time to draw different strands on the hair. Yes, like different strands of the hair, just to make it more realistic. I try to go this idea while um, watching someone else doing traditional art. A friend of mine doing traditional art with this same style. As in, like he took his time to draw every strand of hair. I was like, guy, why? But later on, when I saw the um, the artwork, the out, output, sorry, it was so neat and it was so realistic, guy. As in, like for a pen artist to be to bring out that much detail, oh, it was it was I really loved it and I've been applying it for a long time now. So this is me also um, reducing the uh, opacity of my ink here to draw again on it, because the truth there is not all the hair on this part of his hair. Is that thick? Some are not really thick as others, so that's why I'm doing this. And just as I said, guys, you want to uh, watch and you know observe other artists. For the tradition, now just really observe other arts doing portraits, just portraits in general. Just observe them. It's going to help you a lot because observing is going to open your mind to new ideas, new tricks, new um, styles. You know, just, just new things. And also, using, I also like love using them. Just a lower opacity stuff for the front part of his hair too. 
because the truth is there's some hair there on our front in the front part of our foreheads that are not really that thick so that's why i'm just trying to like you know do all the stuff and it's from the front of his head Okay, and just so on this in this video, I did not really finish um the detailing on his hair because I just wanted to keep it simple for now, since you guys are beginners. And although I'm going to finish it later on in the series, um on this series and in the video, on this um channel. But for now, I just want to keep it simple. Okay, now going to his beards. Let's also do the same thing for this outmost part or you know the end part of his beard. As you can see, that's this side where I'm drawing here. Yeah, I hardly visible to them. So I just trying to keep them small. As you can see here, I trying to like just give them a little strike. Let's show all this and pause, pause of his hair. Let's see, let's read the pause of his hair. There. Short stripes. Same thing for the mustache. These are techniques that you guys should try out. As in, like, you guys should really try out. But if you feel lazy about it, you can just do the beard straight up. Just normal beard style, which you're going to see very soon here. You can just do it like that. But. I just want to make it more realistic and this is a legend that you know has really inspired me so I just want to give him my best although I would have done this earlier on like since the news of his death but I just felt like if I rush this tutorial for you guys if I rush the drawing I'm not going to be able to compile a whole tutorial on this and better still to be easier for people to you know watch the tutorial when they see Chadwick Bosman you know on the when you see Chadwick Bosman on his um thumbnail So yeah, this is how I drop beers guys. I have released a separate videos for this, but the truth is my line out and my beards, I try to put them as one. Like I said earlier on, I did this some low opacity stuff for his eyebrows and here it is. So like I said, I try to um, put my beards and line out as one, so it was really hard for me to like separate them. If not, I would have really love to give you guys a Full tutorial just on beards, you know, good gear, good guys, and all sorts. But nevertheless, this is still all I do in any video, in any um, any other art. Okay, so let's just draw it here for now. Okay, so um, for I suppose that by now you guys must have watched my other videos on um, YouTube here on how, what is Infinity Design and how to use Infinity Design for your tools. If you have not watched that, please go now and watch it because it's going to help you a lot to understand whatever I'm doing here. It's really going to help you a lot. She just many people ask me like, when are you going to um, post your video for? outline and other things i said i'm going to post it because it i'm going to post it a bit late because i want people to you know i don't know let me just use the word get used to the tools first before i post my outline because i know the way i <laughs> the way i handle anything design or the way i approach anything design is a bit weird to some people and it's a bit confusing so you know i 
Okay, take note though, I'm going to uh, kind of like do this um, opacity shading on his um, beard later on. Like I said, I don't, I'm not really the type that finish, finishes everything after go. Can you like come back to retouch most times? And that's one aspect of me. But let's just see how it goes for now. Because for as many of you that, that love them, um, that will want this picture on, you know, want to use it to practice just the same way here. I'm going to drop the picture down in the description down below for you guys to download. Although he's there on Google, but it might be hard for you to find it the way I found it because I tried to take my time to select this picture. To select a very good picture that I want to use. And it took me time to see this picture. And it's HD. Another thing you guys want to consider um, why I'm, um, you know, taking projects from clients is that you want to always ask for um, very clear or how should I put it? Okay, high quality photos from your client because the truth is, here on Infinite Design, is going to re Infinite Design is going to kind of like reduce the um, quality of your picture a bit just to work with it a bit. So if the picture the person sends to you is um, a bit down. And you send it and you um you um put it here on infinite design again infinite design could also reduce it again or if the person sends this to you let me say on um, his phone is like 3 mb he sends it to you through whatsapp and you know whatsapp also reduces photos to a kbs so the same person sends you the picture as documents you're going to be receiving that picture as 30 kb or 40 kb or thereabout and when it comes in, trust me, it's going to be blow, it's not going to be sharp, you're not going to see so many details. I don't joke with my details, as in, I don't joke with my details. And that's one of the things that I try to make people feel like I'm a slow drawer. I'm not really slow, it's just that I don't joke with my details. I try to capture all my details. That's what makes me take, that's what um, makes me, you know, drag the drawing to about two days, to three days, whenever you guys order. And just now, I'm just trying to make um, the main hair blend with um, down there because the truth is, the way it appeared before, it wasn't, it appeared somehow like, you know, it was left out or it was very, very different or very, very, it was just somehow, so I just had to work on it. Okay. Now, Let's um, go to the beers. I you know that was you guys are waiting for, so let's handle the beers here. Okay, so as you, can, as you guys can see, here, I'm actually going with the direction of his beers, the flow. I'm trying to keep the sides that are coming towards his um, chin there sharp because that's how our beers are, and those down there sharp to and a bit bent sharp and bent because the bears isn't really like pointy pointy down there if you want to know how to use the edit tool like i said before please check out my video on how to use um full tutorial and full course on anything design trust me jolly tools okay so um what part has actually interested you guys in um, this tutorial so far or what part do you really enjoy in this tutorial so far please leave a comment and in the description below yeah, sorry, leave a comment below <laughs> okay leave a comment below and um, let's hear you out also if you're having an issue installing the app here or getting the app getting the pro version of the app I so yes, you also go to the, my description and you know download it there. I'm gonna put it there. The um the version there on my description is going to be the pro version, but you're going to need lucky patcher to get to you know bypass and get the features. Okay, let me just put it this way. 
like lucky i just use lucky patch out to you know break through the um payment stuff to break through the uh, main app because the main app it won't let you do anything in lucky patch out so i have to use lucky patch out to get a mod apk and then thereafter i use lucky patch out just send lucky patch out to you know like buy and get all the purchases So I want you guys to try to take a, um, pay attention to the way I draw the BS because he think there's he so you also need to practice a lot. Not like relatively a lot lot lot, but you need to practice a lot for it to get used to drawing BS well. I might not be drawing the right way, but I I presume it's a lot better at least to an extent. I feel my hunger for details is what actually, you know, makes me takes time or how I put it for streets by drawing a bit. And the fun thing there is that even after going far, this far for all this detail, by the time you like print this picture or okay, by the time you print this picture, most of this detail you will not really see it that clear. But the truth there is that they're going to affect the picture or nevertheless one way or the other they're going to be there so just be true to it don't neglect even curve except if it's going to make the person look you know a bit ugly and so far and as you can see here for his mustache here i'm just trying to give it short stripes Also advise them when you're drawing, you know, you like zoom out just to see the whole picture to get a view of the whole picture. Okay, now the picture of the um, artist coming out a bit. Now, you guys are going to ask me, how do I have all this time to you know join BS and all these things? Okay, the thing there is, um. I wouldn't really say I enjoy doing it, but the truth is, I enjoy doing it. <laughs> I enjoy doing it because the truth, um, because you know, this is something that actually like separates me from other artists out there. This is how I roll. This is how I approach, um, my portraits, and I just believe that there are rarely others, you know, that go this far. There are rarely. I, I'm not saying there are not others. There are rarely others. I go this far, so this is something that I just believe is going to put me out there. I'm not just doing it for for uh, popularity. Also, I'm doing it like I said because I love doing it, and I love the way it kind of like comes out at the end. So, yeah, we're still on the mustache. It's gonna take a time. It's gonna take a whole lot of time. I advise you guys not to um skip the video you want to watch every part of this video trust me because this is one of the most delicate parts as you see here flip canvas you know just make it easier for me to draw this other part of this beard Okay, for um, the shading of this um, art here, I'm going to make it as simple. I'm going to try my best to make it as simple as possible for you guys. So, I'm going to re release the video as soon as from now. The reason why I've not released the video also is because of this. I've n I was not really done with this, so I have to make sure I was done with this first before I release that. And I want to actually approach it from a very, very simple way to just make it easy for you guys. And being that I'm new here in this um on YouTube, I'm trying to I don't know. I'm trying to not post too many things at once, okay? Let me put it that way. I'm trying to take it step by step at a time. So I don't over 
bloody guide with too much things to do, too much videos to watch. Because I expect that watching all these videos, you take your time to like practice. And please do that. Do practice. It's going to help you. You can't just sit down and watch my videos and watch 20 videos. Yes, they're going to give you more insight and more ideas, but trust me, you're not going to still be that um you're not going to still be that um that fast that good and that um how am i going to put it now yeah if you ask for details are not really going to come out that well because you haven't practiced and that's something you really want to work on practicing practice 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 I know it's easier said than done, but you still have to practice. If you're having issues and practicing, I advise you look for um, pictures that you love doing. You know, your artists, your um, celebrity artists you love doing out there. Like me now, I'm doing um, Chadwick Postman here. I really love doing this art here. So the fact that I love doing this art here it makes me put my mind and my soul into drawing this. So. You know, I put my best here, and that is just it, guys. If you can get a picture of your favorite artist out there to draw, it will be easier for you to flow. It will be easier for you to continue drawing and not get tired. Now, your reward and factor there will be, you know drawing your artist there and you know posting it on your instagram and getting a few likes and the fact that you know you have drawn your dream artist you have to reduce the pen there because those parts are a bit okay now um reducing the pen size of the pen depends on wherever you're drawing as you notice there when i was drawing this upper part of this base now i made it a bit thin but coming down or previously when i was drawing the down top of s down uh, part of his beard i kind of like kept it fat so as you can see it really depends on wherever you're drawing on his um, on the picture that's why you should open your eyes and you know practice a lot more to know where and when to reduce the size of your inks. Okay, let's continue. Okay, just so you guys know, I, I stopped at this BS. I actually wanted to go forward, you know, to draw other parts of um, the shirt and his neck and other stuff. But um, first of all, if I'm going to do that and give you guys step by step tutorial, I'm going to sleep here. So this video is already um, 30 something minutes long. You know, I could add that. Maybe later on. After um, doing his shade, I'm going to draw his shade. But for now, let's just give you. I'm just drawing the the most important features. And now I'm just like finishing off. So if you guys love my videos and you know love to see more of this my, on my future contents on my channel, you know, hit the like, comment and subscribe. And then turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new contents here on YouTube. Now, I'm going to do something here real quick. I 
going to reduce the opacity of some part of the beard. Child, you can go to me forever, missed. You know, I don't still understand the fault of how good people just die. Why good people should die just like that? Come on, it's really unfair, but that's life at the end. That's really life at the end. So this is drawing. As you can see, it's cute. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> okay, it's cute to an extent. Let's reduce the opacity of some parts. Now, if you notice, I did not really reduce it totally because they have to still be kind of like thicker than some other parts. Okay. Hmm. That's nice. Some other parts. There's a gap there. Which I just saw now. So, yeah, when you're drawing, please also try to take time to check up your drawings. As in, try to cross check because you can't really see everything at once when you're while you're drawing. So just cross check. And that's me using the opacity again. Just to make it like flow 